Beta FPV's Air 5 board takes the 4 and the Air 65 and adds one more component, giving it the infinity gauntlet of whoop flying, your flight controller, your electronic speed controller, receiver, and your video transmitter all in one. Five in one. This is the FPV electronic that contains all five infinity stones, meaning it can do everything. You can see on the bottom here, here's your tiny little camera plug right here so that you don't actually have to solder it, your video transmitter antenna. This little red piece of wire is your receiver antenna. And on the top, here's your connector for USB-C. You have a little external USB thing that you can use, saving the weight even more. Plugs into this little connector right here. And then this little connector goes on on top, bada bing, bada boom. You have full beta flight access and you save the weight of having to have this large metal connector. In the package, you have your BT2 pigtail. It comes with your little dipole antenna. We're actually gonna remove the shielding on this to save a little bit of weight. And of course it has your gummies and screws. Check out the really nice pad layout on this thing. You're gonna have four motors, one, two, three, four, that have actually large pads for a board this small. And then your power leads are gonna be right right here in the corner. We're gonna be mating this up to Beta FPV's Meteor Air frame. That's right, the same frame that comes in the Meteor 65 Air that just came out. Now, well, how does this differ from the board that comes in that? Well, the Meteor 65 Air has the four in one. If you look at it right here, it's actually sort of a triangle shape. It doesn't even go to this front post right here. And that's because it has very similar layout, but it has a external receiver. You see this little board with the red flat antenna right there? That is the receiver and it's separate. This one has all of that contained, so it's less build and potentially less weight. So let's start getting this thing ready. And I installed the most powerful motors I can find. That's right, I watched Chris Rosser's motor testing. I've tested just a few tiny boot motors and just looked straight to the end to which one has the most power. And I went with these bad boys, guys, the RCN Power 0702 29,000 KV. And EDAC warned me that even thinking about these motors might cause my Whoop batteries to light on fire, but I don't care. I want the maximum speed. And man, putting all this together, I didn't do too many weight savings techniques, but I did take off the little metal piece off of the video transmitter dipole. I used Tiny Whoop's pinch camera to get the weight all the way down. I used peak plastic screws for the motors to get the weight down a little bit more. And it comes in right about 16.2, 16.3 grams. So not as light as some of the fast, fast boys that are all the way down to like 15 grams, but this is the lightest craft that I've ever flown ever. And it also has the most power. So it is blistering speed. I was, I was out practicing with my five inch and I flew this on my track just to like see how it felt. And whoa, first notes were like the pinch camera is super wide and very fish-eyed. So it was a little disorienting. I wasn't used to seeing that wide of a view. The whole day I was flying the HD 90 FPS camera with the upgrade lens, which is pretty wide, but this is way wider. But indoors, that extra field of view really allows you to see everything as you're coming around the corner on it. That amount of speed indoors is just like, it wasn't even achievable until recently. And these whoop mad scientists have been coming up with build recipes that I followed to give this type of control. This is like a tiny Porsche that you can fly around your house. The extra power gives you so much last minute control. It gives you so much ability to like literally do freestyle in your house. This feels like a tiny little freestyle or racing quad that's just miniaturized. You can do all the same maneuvers, power loops, dives from my second floor down to the first floor. You remember, I remember four or five years ago, I remember trying that on the original Mobula and you had to time it just right because even though it was so powerful you had so much weight coming down the power to weight ratio wasn't nearly like this and this is insanity the real elephant in the room is whether this is going to be allowed at races look it's going to be banned 
Now, a little bit of drama surrounding this piece of electronics is that they were banned for racing, or at least boards like this were banned for racing that had the video transmitter integrated into it. That's why this 533 custom racing machine has an external Team Black Sheep video transmitter right here on the bottom. This is fully legal, but something like these two might not be. But Beta FPV has said they have addressed all of those high power outputs problems. I am not really good at testing this. This seems like it's coming somewhere between 20 and 60 milliwatts. I don't know if I'm actually doing this thing right. I'll leave in the comments for people to say whether these are going to be legal. I'm not a big whoop computer. In fact, I've never actually competed in a whoop race before. So for me, having the most amount of power that I can to fly by myself is all I really care about. Supposedly, whoop racing has gotten very popular at our Houston night spot. And so when I do get to go around there, this is what I'm taking.